Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Sam and my channel is Be Positive Sam. So welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. Uh, if you're new to this channel, I hope you enjoy it. This is about weight loss and um, being motivated to lose weight and different things that um, to help us lose weight. And I follow the Slim and Well plan. So, but you don't have to be on Slim and Well to follow. I, I, as far as I'm concerned, it, it, we're all in the same boat, regardless of whatever plan you um, that you're on. So, yeah, hopefully you can join me. So, uh, I have my day today. Today is Thursday, the twentieth of October. Can you believe? It is now week 11 and I'm feeling okay. I've still got it switched on up here, which is the main thing. Um, didn't really do much uh, cooking, doing anything much different this week. But what I will do is I'll stop myself from chatting now and show you what happened a couple of days in the week. Good morning, Tuesday. Am I getting through this week? Yes. <laughs> chipping away, chipping away, I'm getting there. So I'm not going to make anything at this precise moment, but my daughter, she works for a frozen food distributor, a local one, and she come home with a load of stuff and uh, vegan stuff. Uh, I'm not a vegan, as you can tell by some of my meals. You know, we're, we're not vegans in this house, although I do have to... Uh, Think about sometimes what I'm eating. Uh, anyway, I thought I'd show you some of the things that she bought back. To be honest, <laughs> I have fallen in love with the names of these um, items. The items are the Vegetarian Butcher. Now these are called <gasps> Unbelievables. <laughs> I just think it's funny. <laughs> so they're meatballs. I've worked, I, I've put them on the applet, they're, they're half a sin. Half a sin? That's what it says, half a sin. I might have to check that. Yeah, I had to double check that, sorry, because I was a bit like, unbelievable. It was half, they're half a sin each. I don't know how big they are, but they're vegetarian, soya based balls, fortified with vitamin B12 and iron high in protein so half a sin each they're not that bad actually i don't i don't think so, anyway that was one <laughs> these are five and a half sins each and they're called patty on the back so i think this is a beef style burger uh, fortified with vitamin b12 um, high in protein, a source of fiber and iron. But to be honest, I don't know what any of these taste like. I've not, you see, they're open the box. Um, she bought them back and said, hey, mum, do you want to try these? And I said, well, I better actually just see what the sins are first. <laughs> so I know these aren't low sins, but if you're a, a vegan or vegetarian, no, vegan, it does say, let's see, it says vegan there, let's see. So it does say they're vegan friendly. Um, they might, yeah. Anyway, I just showed you. She bought them back, and I thought, I know what. I'll show in case there's any vegans on there. Um, these are called little peckers. They're chicken nuggets. Now these haven't got a sin value because I can't find them on the app. So I, I'm not even going to guess. So, but it's just still part of the range that you you know that they do so they're not chicken nuggets obviously they're they're a soya based chicken style nuggets so but again they're vegan friendly uh, but I don't know the value of the sins for this one and then the other one now these are quite high in sins they're eight sins each so uh happy go clucky <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think that's funny. So that would be the equivalent of a, a, a chicken burger, I can only presume. 
So, um, yeah, I, I just thought I'd show you. It literally, she, she brought them home and she's like, hey, mum, do you fancy? She's like, I, I love the name and I, I, I thought we could try them. I haven't tried them. I don't know if you've tried them, but, you know, with their name like that, how can you not try it? But the others aren't on Slimming World, so what I might do is is just cook them up and with the, for the rest of the family uh, and, and do like a bit of a taster. <laughs> I thought they were quite funny, so, uh, yeah. I shall speak to you a bit later. <laughs> I'm back again. Um, what I thought I'd do is make some overnight oats. Now, clearly this isn't night time, but I don't do mine overnight. What I do is I make them in the morning and then I eat it in the evening as if I'm having a pudding. That's how I look at it. Um, and then I, I, chances are I'm not gonna have my B choice because I keep forgetting to eat it. Uh, and then I, I just take two hi-fi bars to get over my B. So what I'm planning to do today is making the overnight oats with obviously oats, which is 40 grams is my B choice putting it in the fridge so it'll be defrosted by this evening. So then when hubby's in the front room eating his crisps, chocolate, or whatever it is that he's going to eat. No, actually, it's Tuesday. He goes out to snooker, billiards tonight. So this is, now I'll be sitting in the in the evening this tonight on my own. That's when I tend to go, oh, nobody's looking. I can go and grab something out of the cupboard. So, um, so to stop that, I'm going to make this this morning and then eat it tonight. <laughs> That's the plan anyway. <laughs> I'll show you how I'll make it. Now the sun's glaring through this um, window. So uh, this, I've just got a, a, a glass dish from Asda. I'm gonna put in, it's obviously my yogurt. This is my favorite. Uh, that's half a sin. And I've got a few summer fruits. These are free. There's not many left, but it's not a massive jar. Um, so they're yeah, actually, these are speedy. Uh, now I've got some pineapple chunks. That is, I love these. I love these. Um, but they're not a speed food. They're just a free food. And then I've got... I have to purposely go to Sainsbury's because I don't go to Sainsbury's because it's the only place I know that sells these peach and nectarine slices. Um, let me see. I didn't like... Oh, gosh, now. I can't remember now. They're speed or free food. Can't remember. But they're, whatever it is, they're no sins. So, um, and basically, I'm going to put... Oh, and my oats. Um, 40 grams of the oats. Just basic. So measure those, 40 grams for a B. I'm going to put them in there with some fruit and then um, I'll make it up and show you what it's like when it's finished. So there we go, we've got the dish. This is quite hard doing this, so I can't see what I'm doing. Ugh. Right. So that's my 40, 40 grams weighed up there. So in goes my frozen fruit. A bit less in there than what I thought, to be honest. Anyway, then mum. Now I always find that when this melts down, it makes it a bit, a bit like a cheesecake. In fact, I'm gonna go and get some more frozen berries. Hold on a second. So I put some extra in there. If you can see in this light, the blooming sun shining through. Can you see? So now I'm just going to put a few. I need to have been in the freezer a little while. They're a bit frosty. Um, a few some um, pineapple bits. Ooh, big slice of peach. Nectarine or whatever. So 
so I can't see sorry he was out of shot so there we go and I'm just going to close the lid squish it all down if I can so can you see can you see the layers so I've got my layer of photogram oats there's my frozen berries so what happened is that the juice from the berries will will seep down into the oats and then I've got my layer of yogurt and now my pineapple and nectarines on the top all ready for tonight but quickly I just wanted to show you something else I don't know if you've got these things these bags they zip up we sell yeah you you they've got that plastic um, and then you just pinch them quite hard to do one handed but you get the gist of it but when you've got a bag like this that I've cut the corner off and the same with my oh, the same with my peaches I use these so basically you <laughs> try and do this one handed so basically I fold them like that and then you clip so you clip so it catches see and then that way you don't have a freezer full of peaches or peas or or whatever because it clips it tight and seals it so if you because I've got a chest freezer so a lot of things fall out um, so I'll do the same with this bag basically I just fold it in half and then clip round it and then Oh, I've only got a smaller clip for this one, but can you see that it's a smaller clip? I'll show you like that. Can you see? Clip it up, and then you won't go stale. So there we go. My overnight oats for tonight. <laughs> for my pudding, should I say. Now, a lot of people use couscous, but that would be classed as a tweak. So that means that you still have to sin it as if it was oats because that's how you're using it um so i i just do it do it that way anyway hope that helps yes so um overday oats <laughs> that's what i've called them anyway somebody said to me are you making overnight oats no nope, i'm making overday oats because i made them in the morning and i'm eating them in the evening so and they were lovely they hit the spot perfect so, what else happened? What haven't I done? Right, okay, I'll tell you what. Let's, let's just get this over and done with. We'll do whey. I know I usually leave it at the end, but I'll show you what I did this week. So, I stood on the scales, and I'm still wearing my same outfit. I put, I put this on over top. I've got vest on underneath, so I take this off. Um... There, that's a bit of sparkle. So I stood on the scales this morning and lost half a pound. Yeah, it's half a pound. As we talked about the other time, half a pound to half a tin of beans. So I'm, I'm okay. It's still a minus sign. So as you can see on the book, look, uh, where are they? Look, you see all my, apart from this one, it's a maintain. So, yes, I was really, I woke up uh, the other day and, and I thought, I feel thinner, I feel better in myself. Uh, you know, when you can just wake up and you're like, I'm having a thin day today. Um, and then another day you can wake up and go, I'm having a fat day today. So, but the other day I woke up and I was having, having quite a thin day. So, and of course, I was strutting around as if I was like some, you know, Cindy Crawford like model or whatever they're called nowadays, Kate Moss. Uh, clearly not the same. <laughs> A few stone between us. So, um, yeah, and when you're feeling like that, of course, everything feels so much better. So, uh, anyway, um, 
Yeah, I sort of woke up this morning, it was miserable and whatnot, and I thought, mm, not feeling quite so um, energetic. So, anyway, half a pound. And I was sort of sitting there listening to Greek and whatnot. And then we were like, what can we do that's different? And I say it every week, but is I'm going to write it down. I didn't actually write it down in my diary. And uh, I sort of looked through it today, earlier on, and I thought, it really does help if I write it down and I can see how many sins I've used and whatnot. It's just that visual, you know, rather than going, oh, you know, I ate that bit of bread or whatever, and then you've forgotten that you've eaten the bit of bread. Because, believe me, a lot of us just go like this, and you don't realise it. So, um... You know, but I haven't lost my mojo. I haven't, I, I'm I'm still, you know, cracking on with, you know, I'm still really trying to focus on different things. So I haven't really done anything um, out of the ordinary. I haven't gone out for a meal or had a takeaway or or anything like that. Um, but something's crept in, but I can't quite work out what. Hmm. So I'm going to write it down. I'm going to go back to... It's, it's only last week that I didn't write it down. And the other thing I'm going to do, which I, I I do usually, but if you buy something, could be anything, say a jar of sauce, for argument's sake, for pasta, or, I don't know, just something in the cupboard or whatever. If... If I actually got a big black sharpie and I write on it, this is seven sins or five sins, whatever, whatever it could be. Pack it ham, I could write free on it. And I, you, you sort of think, mm, when you, 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 I don't know about you, but you go to a cupboard and you're like, mm, no, nothing's changed. It's still all the same stuff I can't eat. Why am I looking in here? I, I, you, you sort of pick the things out and you're like, well, I could have that for three sins because it's wrote on there. You haven't got to try to remember everything. So you can look, you go three sins and you go, well, pack it a crisp for whatever. I don't know how much packets of crisps are because I don't eat them, but, you know, or uh, three, you know, digestive biscuit. What's it, about three and a half, four sins a biscuit? And uh, and I think oh, I think I've only got one of them. Whereas if I could eat a small whisper bar, for example, for five cents, um, don't quote me on that, but I think they're five cents. The little I'm talking about little ones. You know, I think do I really want to waste five cents on that when I could eat something else and fill myself up? You know, so. I, I'm going to go back, I'm going to, when I go shopping, because I go shopping Fridays, um, I am going to scribble on all of my stuff, or well, not all of it, but the majority of it, you know, uh, and it's sort of like, I, I did a jar of Dalmio, for example, and, and, and I know they're high sins, I think it's something like 11, 11, 12 sins or something like that for a jar, I might be totally wrong, as I am just totally guessing. You know, and then I go, mm, well, that's shared between four. You know, that's not that many. So it works out three, about three sins of jar, you know, for the bit I eat. But it, it's not quite right. So I, it, 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 it's those silly little things that may creep in. And, uh, you know, like a packet mix in my stew. Didn't really count that because it looked the same as when I used the JD seasoning. But actually, JD seasoning tasted better. But, you know, and, and, and it's just those silly little things that that have crept in. So, this week, it's going to be back to writing it down. Because I really want to get this to, uh, well, it's £2 now, I think. £2 before I get to my... My next target, and it's just like it seems to be dragging on a little bit. Yeah, six and a half, seven. Yeah, two two pounds to seven. Yeah, to half a stone. Come on, Spatter, you can do it. Only two pound. 
<sighs> Nothing seems to be getting in the way this week, so two pound I am gonna do. So I made my mind up, I'm gonna do it. I am doing two pounds like I did last week. And I'll be tightly committed and things like that. Now, how many of you have got this? How many of you have filled it in? I started filling mine in, I must admit. My Christmas gift to me is to reach Club 10 and to get to 14 stone. So I know we touched on this last week. I'd love to achieve this by, so it's got the 6th of December. Uh, now last time I had one of these, I filled it out in pencil so I could rub it out. But this time I proper scribbled it in pen because this time it's permanent. Uh, and it says it will make me feel, and I wrote, more confident to wear sparkles. Because I really want to wear some sparkles this Christmas. Uh, and it's got 10 things I plan to guarantee a place on Santa's nice list. <laughs> oh, I don't think I'll be on that. <laughs> uh, and I've wrote, be mindful when eating. Now, what I mean by be mindful is sort of while you're eating it, don't, you know, just like, oh, I'm starving and cram everything in. And then you've, you've sort of, eating a dinner in about two seconds flat and then your 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 brain hasn't caught up with your belly so you're on the hunt for other things to eat so when i say i want to be more mindful i mean i don't know if this is the proper meaning but this is what i mean i mean i'm going to eat it more slowly and enjoy what i'm eating take my time because i find that if you take your time you get full up you know, then you don't go on the hunt for something else. I know last Christmas I went to uh, this restaurant and it was like, you got a plate, it was like that. And I can remember thinking, is that it? Because <laughs> I wanted a big massive plate. <laughs> is that it? And by the time, you know, I was, uh, cut a little bit off and I munched on it because I was in a group of with friends you know and we were chit chat chit chat chit chat and then a little bit cut off i was like oh this is nice you know uh, chit chat chit chat chit chat i was actually full up but it but i don't have eaten that at home and i'd have eaten it quickly i would have been hunting the cupboards for more but it was literally just this tiny little amount like i think it was a bit of turkey with a bit of a sprout and something else it was like yeah, it wasn't worth the money, but but that's what I mean by mindful eating. So I'm going to eat it slower and I'm going to plan ahead and I'm going to eat as much free food as I possibly can. In meaning, chop my carrots up in advance. Chop the, the I can't eat celery, but um, yeah, cucumber, peppers or whatever. Put them in a dish put them in the fridge ready so I can just pick it because it's so good to go to the so easy to go I go mm, I know them ice gems are four and a half now when I'm having a biscuit I, I feel like I need to eat a biscuit they're my go-to ice gems four and a half bag but I can't keep going to the bag I can't do one lunchtime and then one you know when I'm sitting there eat in the evening because I'll probably go over sins because of all the other things that I've eaten. So I want to try and eat as much free food as possible. So, um, and hopefully then with those three things in mind, I'm hoping that the the weight will come off and I can get my one and a half stone. Or my club 10. <sighs> so, I was a bit disappointed, I must admit, with the half a pound. But then I thought, mm -hmm. Did you really step on it 100%, Samantha? No, the odd day was good. You know, as I say, it was nothing really bad, but did I measure my meal? If I was to be brutally honest, I'd be like, no. Never measure my milk. And I should do, really. But what I have started doing is drinking black coffee. I don't drink a lot of coffee. And the thing is with tea, I always associate tea and biscuits but I don't associate coffee and biscuits. Does that make sense? So it's a it's a habit thing. But if I was to drink black coffee, I know I'm drinking a drink without using my milk and I also then won't want a biscuit. Hopefully. <laughs> so. <laughs> so anyway, my week ahead is looking quite 
quite quiet really i've got a quiz i'm going to go to the quiz next week in the pub so that'll just be diet coke because i don't drink i sound really boring don't i don't drink don't smoke don't go out don't do this i feel like adamant don't drink don't smoke <laughs> what do you do <laughs> i'll start with that red thing um so yeah i i my life isn't that boring but to a lot i suppose it is but I have got a Halloween disco to go to, but I'm not going to dress up. I am just going to go and try and do some moves. But that's not until the 29th, so. Um, yeah, it's probably a week after. Yeah, it's after next way. So, anyway, I'm going to love and leave you rather than keep waffling on about nothing. And um, I do hope there's nothing really anything else that I could talk about so I hope that you enjoyed this video it only takes a second to give me a thumbs up you know set more subscribe press that little bell if you know I'd like you to do it if you don't don't worry and uh, you know and, and let me know how you get on and um, oh, I've got the itches let me know how you get on because um, I'm always fascinated and I feel like, you know, I've got these online friends that, you know, I've never met. And, oh, who knows, one day we might be able to all meet up if we live, you know, especially when I go on some of my travelling journeys, uh, you know, on the holiday next year. You know, I'll be like, hey, I'm going to Yorkshire. Anyone from Yorkshire? Or, hey, I'm going down to Cornwall, uh, which I will be going to Cornwall. And... Yeah, it'd be good to actually bump in and say hi. Uh, so, no, you haven't got that many subscribers, but I, I love it. So, yeah, and I'm always interested in what you say. So, I'm going to leave it for now, and I, I'll see you in the next one. See you later.